My biggest concerns were, um, you know, ticket sales, sponsorship revenue, trying to sign some players, get a winning record. What I really know is my biggest concern was the Heckma boys were fucking their way through the cheerleading team. New video has surfaced of embattled Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver. And Dick, and Dick, and Dick was chasing everything that moved in Scottsdale. This was Sarver at the late Dick Heckman's posthumous roast. And speaking of... Speaking of, someone said he left his DNA. He did leave his DNA in Steve Nash's socks somewhere in the locker room. And news broke of Phoenix's toxic work environment. Sarver denied he ever spoke like this. Well, I think you know where this is going. So I bring the kids in. First room I open, there's two on one going on. Dick had sex math. Dick would say he had sex 10 times in a day. Like, unmedicated. When he said 10 times, what he meant is like in and out five times. That was 10 times for Dick. And when he noticed someone on their phone during the roast. You merging on a SPAC or you lining up a hooker over there? What are you doing? It's a goddamn memorial service. An idiot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to guess his receptionist has small It's just another grim example of the language Sarver feels is appropriate. We were lucky we still own the franchise. In today's environment, we'd have lost it a long time ago. I sat next to him in the lockout. He a piece of one of the most exciting point guards of the 2000s, Baron Davis, held no punches. The latest revelations are twofold. First, Sarver's wife, Penny, seen here with Robert at a Suns game has joined the fray of utter disgracefulness. It appears Penny has used intimidation tactics, sending one message that read, this is Penny Sarver, one message began. I know a lot of bridges were burned between you and Robert and you are very bitter. I want to remind you that real lives are at stake here. I agree. Real lives are at stake. Mrs. Sarver makes no mention of a former female sales employee who was ridiculed by a son's VP. It wrecked my life. I was contemplating suicide, she said. Meanwhile, a second former employee received a message that began, I am so terribly saddened that you would say such untrue things about my husband. Your interpretation of what happened is so far from the truth. You are crushing my family's lives. Thanks for that. Speaking of life ruining, per Baxter Holmes' report, Another former female employee was physically assaulted by a male co-worker outside the son's office. HR ultimately decided to move her desk. I couldn't escape, she said, adding that if she stood up, he was right there, probably less than 10 feet away. It was a joke, an absolute joke. It's a wild, I mean, it's a wild story, but it's also a story that is so predictable in so many ways because these people don't answer to anybody. Penny Sarver continued on her rampage. A third former employee said their message began, you are such a liar, and you're trying to destroy my husband with your lies. You have destroyed my family and children. So these guys have license to just wild out in ways that you just can't in real businesses. And also the history of the industry itself, because it's such a boys club, the rules the corporate rules don't apply. On the newly surfaced video of Sarver, the NBA has said it's aware. They launched their investigation on the serious allegations of racism and misogyny per the ESPN report last week. Although Sarver has denied the allegations, this video offers a glimpse into who he is when he thinks he's in a safe environment. While the investigation into Sarver is still pending, and it may be a while before any kind of resolution is reached, until then, you have to wonder how much Sarver's claim that he despises language that disrespects any individual regardless of race, gender, preference, or choice, as he said in one statement, can really hold up given the contents of the video. The thing that gets me about Sarver is the same thing that gets me about Dan Snyder. They're not even good at what they're doing. They're not even good at what they're right? doing. Right, like the NFL, they all in Snyder. Your attendance is bad. It's bringing down the numbers. You're bringing down the league with the way that you're running this team. Sarver, that team was terrible for 10 years in a row, right? Like all those things happen there. And they still not going to run a cat like that off because they all scared that it might be them. ESPN broke the story of Robert Sarver's conduct in the workplace. Racism, misogyny, Sarver feeling as though employees were his property, and repeatedly insensitive language. We covered this story previously via Baxter Holmes of the Worldwide Leader. Former head coach of the Suns, Earl Watson, spoke on the record detailing how Sarver repeatedly used the N-word, even when he told the owner 
to cease doing so.